Hello, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at the Love Cup, which just got dropped basically, and we're taking a look at his Surian Electrode in a team that I just randomly threw together. Now, it's actually the team that um, I used usually with Scollipeed in the back, and I thought, okay, maybe this Pokemon can also do something because you have like basically with the Rock Throw, Macargo, the hardest um, Talonflame answer in the lead. You have a decent say swap in the um, what's it called? The uh, I got, forgot the name. I forgot the name. I gotta see it. Ariados in the Ariados there, so it should be pretty fine. Um, usually, I actually think that the the Hisuian Electrode is a better safe swap than the Ariados, so I, maybe I should have went for this instead. But yeah, um, I don't know if, uh, how much I'm gonna talk about the gameplay itself. We just also got uh, we got a lot of new news, which I kind of wanted to like at least uh, talk a little bit about it. You're gonna most likely see a video tomorrow about this as well again. Um, we have new icons for the leaks. Big news, nah, but like we actually get have now an icon for the Love Cup, which we never had before. We're also gonna get an icon for the little Jungle Cup, which is pretty cool. So Niantic actually does care about this. Um, but we actually have some more information right now in the code which just got added. We got like some more mega evolution pictures or something in the code which hasn't been there before. There are three new mega Pokemon coming most likely into Pokemon Go this season still. We have like a mega surprise for like Go Battle League in like I think it's like 29th of May or something like the end of the season. So it's going to be something about mega Pokemon but they are also going to be the first legendary mega Pokemon most likely coming to Pokemon Go. Of course we don't know anything yet this is just data mined by the code and like from what we know how the season going to go. And this is going to be a Latios and a Latios like both of them both of the Ladies from generation 3. We already have the pictures for the Mega Evolutions now in the code since today. And what we also have in the code are two special moves, which are like signature moves of either uh, like each of the Ladies. So we have like, I think it's Mist Ball for the Ladias or something. And like, I don't know, like there's Last Type Purge for Ladios, I think. Yeah, I think yeah, Mist Ball, Ladias, Last Type Purge for Ladios. So we're gonna get new moves most likely for those legendaries, otherwise I don't really see why we A have the Mega Evolution pictures in the code all of a sudden and B the signature moves of those bo both Pokemon in the code all of a sudden. Seems very likely that we're gonna get th those two at the end of the season. So gonna be a pretty nice cool thing, I hope that this makes them a little bit better. We're gonna make maybe a prediction video on this like soonish, but um... Yeah, like we have another move that got basically put into the code and this makes something very clear-ish and this was most likely going to be the next community day. And the next community day seems to be Lolan Golem and the normal Golem. Like it's very, very likely because we just found a rollout in the code and rollout is basically the signature move of Golem. Kinda got introduced in Generation 2 actually. You saw it like on Mil Miltang and on um, Donphan, but what rollout basically is, is just like you roll onto your opponent and Golem is basically just a ball. Also, like it's basically, it's like a very a signature for that. Both also, like you could ask, like argue, okay, Electrode is also a ball and could use rollout, but. Um, like here you have like the rock typing as well from rollout. It's gonna be a quick move, which is very exciting, which I really like because usually like, yeah, most of the time you get like charge moves and the quick moves are kind of underrated. We need some more and especially we need an energy generating quick move, which I think this is gonna be, might be also something like incinerate clone or something like this. I'm most likely gonna make a video about this tomorrow, which like cannot be like what is likely to uh, like, what could be like likelyish, and we're gonna see we're gonna take a look at this then and how good maybe alone and golem and golem can be if we actually gonna get the C day. But of course, all speculation yet. We only have this in the code. It doesn't make sense. Of last C day, I would expect that all three C days this season gonna be themed okay or normal Kanto Pokemon and Alolan version together, like we just had with the first one with Sandshrew and the Alolan Sandshrew. We might get Muck and Alolan Muck at the end with Fire Punch, which they already had like in the voting prior, which I hope we don't get here because I don't think it does really make that big of a difference. So. I mean, maybe actually nowadays it might make some more difference, but I don't know. 
But yeah, gonna be interesting. I'm pretty sure that we're gonna get the Golem as a community day for the next Pokemon, like Pokemon Go community day for April, which is for most people most likely not that exciting. I mean, it's okay ish in PV PvE, but in PvP, I think it actually has a lot of potential. Like, what, um, especially the normal Golem was missing, was just a good quick move. If we get a really, really decent one there, it can actually be meta, I think, but we have to take a look at it. I haven't taken took a look at it yet. Of course, with the normal golem, you have the crazy um, problem of having the weakness to grass and water, which are both double weaknesses. And with the other one, you at least actually have the answer for water types with the electric type move. So I think the Alolan golem would be a little bit better. But also, I don't think it really helps the Alolan golem because you already have the volt switch on it. So I think it's most likely going to stay pretty similar. But we will see if the normal golem might get some more play with that. And if we even get this at all, like again, like same with Ladias, Ladios, we only found this in the code yet. We don't know if it's definitely going to be the case. But yeah, just wanted to inform you a little bit about this. And now we can talk a little bit about the upcoming cup and about the upcoming week. Yeah, we have the Love Cup again and we have Master League. I'm definitely gonna make like at least like I don't know three, four videos about the Love Cup and one or two videos about Master League. But um I think I'm gonna do like a lot of I don't know videos on my channel that are not heavily around the PvP gameplay. I might start with a the theory that I wanted to start already with like PvP tips for like beginners and then like for um like advanced players and then for like pros like in general how to get to a pro level or whatever that's some series that i kind of want to start which i just have to get into have to get the concept done have to like i already wrote down all the topics i want to cover so like it's gonna would be like around like 20 videos most likely shorter ones though like more like i don't know three to four minutes i would say and um also, I mostly might do some tips and tricks video real quick for for like normal Pokemon Go gameplay because there are like some tricks that I use, like that's bugs in the game that I use on a daily basis, which not a lot of people know actually about, especially like two, three of them. They are like more hidden and like it's basically yeah, abusing bugs of the game, which actually not like really like I don't really see a lot of people talk about it. Some take it for granted, but like I know a lot of people are not like hardcore grinding community. I think that would be interesting. Maybe a tier list again, maybe some other stuff, but I don't really see myself doing too much gameplay for this week because there's not a lot going on. The event that we have right now with Oricorio is kind of lackluster. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Next event I think gonna be very good though again. We already had also some changes of some Alolan Pokemon in the code again for the like which is most likely gonna come for the next event with like Dupider which gonna be maybe one of the best Pokemon from generation 7 for PvP which I think they have to completely destroy their moveset because this thing would be very very good if it just gets a decent-ish moveset. And they said that they kind of didn't want to change the meta until the um, big like Worlds tournament. And the Worlds tournament is, I think, in August. So I guess they have to screw the moves or something. I have no idea. But um, yeah, Drupida most likely going to come for the jungle event. There are some other people, like some other Pokemon that got an update. So going to be a little bit more exciting, going to be interesting what we're going to get there. But um, yeah, here we're gonna have the Ariados against the Momola. We can just talk a little bit about the gameplay. Again, like I should have most likely swapped the Electrode more often into it. But um, yeah, we can take the Psychic there and we can go for some lunges. It's actually a very neutral matchup. I like Ariados. Ariados is one of the better Pokemon, in my opinion, like one of those that got a really big buff with the Poison Sting update and in general the move update. I think it got like two or three move updates and I think it got so many actually I think it got added the cross poison before I don't think it had it prior to this it got um the poison sting buff it got the mega horn buff and it got launch as a charge move like it literally got a complete overhaul from what it had prior and it's so so good now like it needed a complete overhaul from like literally every move which is funny and here we're gonna get wrecked by a Crawdon. I remember this game. There's nothing I can do here anymore. He has a shield, he's gonna outspam me. Night Slash only need three of the snarls to get there. Even if I went for my other charge move, he would be out spamming me there. Like I couldn't do anything really. Maybe if I caught, I don't know. 
but there's not a lot I can do here. He gets to the uh, Crap Man time. Good game there. Cool spicy Pokemon. Well played by my opponent. We will see next up Electrode against us. I really enjoy like the uh, combination between Macago and the Ariados, but there's like one problem. Like, I saw a lot of dreading on all of a sudden. Maybe like using a charm lead might be helpful. I see a lot of fighting type leads. I see a lot of dreading on leads. Like right now, if you really want to get like a lot of wins, maybe a charm lead might be good. We're also gonna get soon-ish new Alolan Pokemon in the um, Love Cup. I might take a look at the Ricario again because my version of the Ricario is actually one that is available for the cup soonish. It's not in there yet while I'm talking. They want to add it later on. Um, but also stuff like the Incineroar we might take a look at because it's gonna be new. Um, like stuff like this. We're gonna we most likely gonna take a look more at this and then make like some more of pvp gameplay videos because like uh, for me this is one of the lamest week we had yet in which we're gonna have so i'm not really that interested in making too much content around pvp itself like the playing but we have to see we have to see we have to see maybe i also take a little bit of a break who knows but i think i am been uploading daily now for over a year something like most all the time two to three videos a day so yay it's sometimes a little bit exhausting as well so i don't know what i'm gonna do but here we already saved on one move with our electrode we can go for the wild charge on my pawn just surrenders anyway so a good game there and here we see the dreadagon it was like one game, I don't know if it's in there, like I did like 20 battles with this real quick while I did the graphics fix at the same time. Oh, I think it was this game. You see my opponent getting the boost there. Crazy. Very good for him. As we can go for another cross puzzle, my opponent just farms me all the way down because he has a boost now. It's kind of annoying. Kind of risky play if I had a charm user in the back, like he had nothing for me. And you know what? <laughs> One boost is not enough. Let's get another one. Double boost the Dreadagon against me. Very fair. Very, very good. I just kind of wanted to make a video about Dreadagon as well. Now I have like Electro. Like it doesn't really matter anyway. Like, yeah. Maybe next time I'm going to also make a video about Dreadagon. Have to see. We have to see what's going to come for the next couple of days. Kind of want to produce a little bit ahead, but we have to see anyway. And we said you're going to lose this game there because maybe two like a double boost is not the fairest thing especially if you have no resistance to dragon on your team which is normal but okay we see the licky tongue coming in against licky tongue usually i shield the first move because like it hurts a little bit more and then go for the rock tomb he expects most of the time the overheat and then shields and we can go into our electrode we can take a move and we can just roll around go for the wild charge and ko this licky tongue now we over farmed a little bit and we are fighting against the Acherum as well. We can just go for some nice wall charge damage here. Should put do like half of it. Yeah, like nearly half of the damage there. And he goes for the move or immediately, which is kind of crazy as we can like just like go into our Riados. We see the Alamo Mola in there and it's going to be a little bit tough. But we can take, I mean, we still have a shield. We can, we have some extra energy. We can go for the lunge. We're going to be pretty good here, I think. We can just outspend this thing like crazy. Like the, we can just go for four moves again, go for the lunch again, and yep, we already put him very very low. And I'm just gonna go for the cross poison now because I know that I get there and I swap out immediately, and my pawn swaps at the same time, and we farm down in time, and we can also farm down the Elamomola, which is good. And now we can just go into the last game. Every other is in the lead. Very nice. We see the Medicham. We can go for the lunch. It's actually not the best matchup against Magem either here right now because, of course, the Psychic gonna hurt. Psychic gonna be a little bit of a problem, but we can just chill it up. We can go for another lunch, and at least he went for the Psychic because now we go for the cross poison time anyway here because otherwise we cannot farm down, I think. Um, but yeah, like if, you, if he's debuffed, I think one or two stages, you can actually tank a Psychic, which is cool. Here we can go for some lunch damage and he has to go for the lunch pretty soon as well. Here we have the advantage of debuffing him before he can debuff me, so I always do a little bit more damage every charge move compared to him. 
which is the cool thing with this matchup. But also the game was pretty, pretty laggy. He got like three poison stings in there in one time, which was crazy. Um, the cool thing, yeah, that's why he gets to the move here before. The game was a really laggy when I played. Um, cool thing that we have like in 11 days, the first qualifier or like in the first tournament for Pokemon Go PvP. Definitely worth it. We see the Aloma Mola in the back. We should be able to just finish this game off with the Electrode because Electrode doesn't really care about the waterfall damage. So thanks all for watching. I hope you have a great rest of the day. There's a lot of things coming to Pokemon Go at least, which is cool. But um, yeah, right now this week going to be a little bit drier. I'm going to try to mix it up a little bit content-wise and not just going to do only gameplay. So see you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.